Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to my new video. In this video, I'll be showing you how to get snow glow wood in Lumber Tycoon 2. I have been doing some research on YouTube and I couldn't find anyone doing it in this specific way. This method might look slower and more boring, but you won't need to make any long planks which take you around 10 to 15 minutes to just get them into the place. There used to be three ways to obtain this wood. First one is with making long planks and putting them in this place. Second one is by doing the wood glitch where you can put a small log under your legs and interact with it. By doing that it used to push you up the hill but that glitch was fixed a while ago. And the third way which is very expensive is by lowering the bridge with an eye which is, in my opinion isn't worth at all. The yellow wood is very rare and hard to get but the plank sells for only $10 per unit, which is insanely small amount. So snow glow wood is pretty much used for just decoration, since it's the only wood with yellow color. With that being said, let me show you the method that I found. As I said, this method is relatively boring and it looks slow, but if you compare it to the method where you have to bring planks, it's around the same amount of time. First, get your car. Now head towards the bridge. If you position your car at an angle like I did, you should be fine, but blueprints aren't recommended here since you're losing your health. So if your car flips, just get out of the car and go to your plot and spawn a new one. Once you jump in, head towards the small sand island like I did. Wait for your health to regenerate and then head straight into the tunnel. There will be another sand island on your left side, so just follow the road like I did in the video. There will be a new sand island in front of us, but we won't be going towards it. Instead, take this turn on the right after you heal up. When you get on this sand island, you will see the snow glow wood from here. It has a yellow glow effect and it looks very nicely. Once you heal up again, head towards it. This wood was a request from Tick Tatworth. She wanted Defaultio to add this type of wood into the game. She sadly passed away, so Defaultio decided to add this wood into the game and make this whole area in memory of Tick Tatworth. Once you get here, you can start farming the trees and loading them inside of your truck. When you finish that, you will take the same road, just backwards. After you come to this last sand island, take your time and listen to what I'm saying in the video. So after I explain the glitch, make sure you look at the road before you start doing it yourself. To do this, you have to exit full screen in Roblox. Your game should look like this now, you are supposed to have this bar on the top. This glitch is pretty simple. What you have to do is head straight into the water after you have fully healed up. When you see that your health is at a pretty low amount, all you have to do is just hold the right click on the mouse on top of the bar just like I did. And also, make sure you keep holding your W button, don't let go of it. What this will do is freeze your game and you should keep holding right click for around 1 to 2 minutes. After holding it for around 1 to 2 minutes, you let go of the right click. It will unfreeze your game. As you can see, now you have full health. You have successfully healed up. All you have to do is repeat the same process until the end of the road. Now, I will show you where you have to go so you can get your car on top of the island. Right here is the end, now you can finally get out of the water. As you can see, it didn't take too long, so if you are patient, this will be easy for you. 
And just like that, you have obtained the snow glow wood. Hopefully I explained it nicely so everyone understands how to do the glitch. If you need any help, just ask me down in the comments. Let me know down in the comments if this video helped you and if you learned something new from it. Thanks for watching the video. Next video will be out on Friday at 5pm, so stay tuned. See you in the next one, and until then, peace.